Hello students, let's do exercise 6e today in the chapter sets. Now this is found on page number 63. This exercise is all about cardinality. The number of elements in a set is called its cardinal number. So let's start. Question 1. Write the cardinal number of each of the following sets. So set A is given to us and in set A the elements are 0, 1, 2 and 4. All we need to do is count the number of elements. So let's count the number of elements. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So there are 4 elements here. Now how do we write this? Cardinal number of set A is 4. And this is how we write it. We put n of a equals 4. n stands for cardinal number and a is set a. And 4 is the number of elements in it. So it's very easy. All you have to do is count the number of elements in a set. Question 2. Set b has all these elements. Let's count the number of elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are six elements, that means the cardinal number of set B is six. Question C. Now if you look at the set, it's an empty set, there's nothing in it. So the cardinal number of set C equals zero. Since there's no element in it, it's zero. Moving on to the next question, let's look at set D. Now set D has many, many elements here. Now there's one rule that we need to follow. We cannot repeat numbers. So let's count what numbers we have here that can be counted. 3, 2. Now 2 has already been mentioned. We cannot repeat it. So I'll strike it off. 1, 3 again. So don't repeat. 1 again, 2 again. So we have 3, 2 and 1. That means there are only 3 elements. So the cardinal number of set D is 3. Cardinal number of set D is 3. Next question. Question E. Natural numbers between 15 and 20. So set E has all these natural numbers. Let's write it in the roster form. Between 15 and 20 will be 16, 17, 18 and 19. So, there are four elements. So, the cardinal number of set E will be four. Moving on to the next question. Question six. Set F has whole numbers from 8 to 14. So, let's write down those. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 because it says from 8 to 14 we have to include 8 and 14. Now let's count the number of elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the cardinal number of set F is 7. Next question. Question 2. This is given to us. Four sets are given to us, A, B, C and D. And what are the elements of these sets? Set A is natural numbers less than 10. Set B, letters of the word invention. Set C, squares of the first four whole numbers. And set D, odd numbers divisible by 2. So this is given to us. Now what do we need to find? We need to find the cardinal number of set A, B, C and D. So the first thing we need to do is find out what the elements of these sets are. So let's start with the first one, natural numbers less than 10. These are all the elements of set A, natural numbers less than 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. As you can see the numbers. So the cardinal number of set A is 9. Let's go on to B. Letters of the word invention. Remember when you write you cannot repeat. So I, N, V, E, N is already there. T, 
I is already there. O, I cancel out N. So I get these letters I, N, V, E, T and O. So let's count and see how many letters are there. How many elements? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the cardinal number of set B is 6. Set C is squares of the first four whole numbers. I hope you remember squares. Let's write down the first four whole numbers. 0, 1, 2 and 3. These are the first four whole numbers. I'm going to write 0 square, then 1 square, 2 square and 3 square. So when I'm talking about squares, I mean I'm multiplying the same number twice. So let's multiply. 0 into 0 is 0. 1 ones are 1. 2 twos are 4. 3 threes are 9. So these are the squares of the first four whole numbers. These are the elements of set C. 0, 1, 4 and 9. So how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So what is my answer? The cardinal number of set C is 4. Let's go on to question D. Odd numbers divisible by 2. Do we have odd numbers divisible by 2? No, we don't have ordinal numbers divisible by 2. So what is the cardinal number? Is there any element inside the set? No. So the cardinal number of this set D is 0. Question 3. State true or false for each of the following and we need to correct the wrong statement. Question 1. If A is equal to 0, then the cardinal number of A is 0. That is not true, isn't it? Because there is one element inside. So the answer should be 1. So this statement is false. So first let's write false and then let's correct the statement and say the cardinal number of A is 1. Okay, since there is one element inside. Question 2. The cardinal number of, what is the symbol? That symbol stands for an empty set or a null set. So the statement is, the cardinal number of an empty set is 1. Now, this is an empty set which I am drawn here. And is there any element inside? No. So how can we say 1? Isn't it? So the cardinal number of an empty set is not 1. It is 0. So this statement is also false. And let's write the correct statement. The cardinal number of... An, an empty set is 0. Third one. If set T is A, L, A, H, B, D and H, then the cardinal number of set T is 5. This is the statement. Now, let's see these letters again. Remember, we cannot repeat any letter. So, we have A, L, A again. Cancel it. H, B, D, H again, cancel it. Now let's count how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So the cardinal number of set T is 5. So this statement is true. Next one. If set B is 1, 5, 51, 15, 5, 1, then the cardinal number is B. Cardinal number of set B is 6. This is what the statement says. Now let's check the elements. Remember, no repetition. So 1, 5, 51, 15, 5, it's already there. 1, it's already there. So how many elements do we have here? Only 4. But this statement says the cardinal number of set B is 6, which is wrong. The cardinal number of set B is only 4. So this statement is false. So let's write the correct statement. Cardinal number of set B is 4. So children, with that we come to the end of exercise 
E. Thank you, children.